I'm Kevin Dixon. I'm the Vice President of Operations for International Justice Mission Canada. Uh, IJM is a global organization that works in 17 different places around the world um, with a mission to protect the poor from violence. The kinds of violence that we address are what, what we call everyday violence. We're not talking about the kind of violence that's a result of war or terrorism, but really the kind of violence that occurs when everyday criminals prey upon the most vulnerable, and that is in the developing world, the poor. What we've uh, recognized is that uh, the end of violence is the uh, end of impunity. That is, that we have to hold these perpetrators accountable. And so we do that by uh, rescuing victims from various kinds of violence, like slavery and uh, sexual exploitation, um, uh, those who are the victims of, of theft of land um, or police abuse of power. And and what we do is we, we rescue these victims, we work with the local authorities to hold perpetrators accountable, uh, we, we work with the survivors of the violence in order to restore them to wholeness, and then over time we work together to strengthen the public justice system until the prevalence of the, of the crime drops. We'll see people who are trapped into bonded labor slavery where they're coerced uh, into working in a brick kiln or a rice mill, um, with the idea that they're going to pay off a debt that the mill owner, that the kiln owner, will never allow them to repay, or that people are uh, forced, and especially we're talking about um, uh, girls who are under the age of consent who are, are uh, forced into sexual exploitation in brothels. One of the pieces of work that we're um, doing now is uh, what we call cyber sex trafficking. And, uh, and this is a new and complex piece of work that we're doing. Cyber sex trafficking is the live streamed on the internet sexual abuse of young boys and girls to paying customers across the world. And these children um, are often forced, even by family members, to perform sex acts via webcam for a live paying audience. Um, and <clears throat> the reason that this is of particular concern to IJM Canada is that this is a crime that is in part fueled by the online behavior of Canadians. Um, we know, and it's shocking, that Canada ranks in the top three among the world's nations for hosting websites or images or selling material that contains child sexual abuse. So what we have done most recently in order to address this is launch a nationwide campaign called Not On My Screen. And the purpose of this campaign is to educate the Canadian public about the issue of cyber sex trafficking of children and these alarming facts about the Canadian demand for this material. And what we want to do is we want to rally our government and public figures and Canadians from coast to coast to coast to speak out publicly against this form of child abuse. And we're asking Canadians to take the lead in addressing this issue by eliminating the Canadian demand for it. So this, uh, this campaign, not on my screen, uh, is underway now. And what we need is for Canadians to get on board by taking an online pledge to declare a stand against cyber sex trafficking of children, uh, by giving the issue the visibility it needs, uh, by ordering a campaign sticker and placing these stickers on a mobile phone or a tablet or a laptop that indicates that uh, you are in, in solidarity with this campaign, and also to share the campaign on social media. And there's lots more information about how to get involved in this um, at uh, www.ijm.ca.